Hey peoples, my name is TK Tara, and for this video I will be telling you guys what I believe is the best way to remove a piercing. So this best way for removing piercings mainly works best in my opinion on any type of piercing that has a ball on it. Two perfectly good examples of ball piercings or piercings with a ball on it are this one and these two. So this might just be the most cheapest way that you can do it. Like I said, if not with your bare hands. And all you need is some latex gloves and the will to succeed. So, for this video, I will show you guys by personally taking out my own piercings for you. Trigger warning ahead of time. So I personally like to use two latex gloves because sometimes you can get a grip on one side, but if you're not wearing latex gloves on the other hand, then you can't get a grip on the other side. So, um, fair warning about that. Sorry guys, my hands are so tiny. So I'm going to start with my lip ring. So the best way that i found to take out my lip ring is to first grab the bottom. So after I grab the bottom with my right hand, I take my left hand and grab the other side that is inside my lip. So after I get a good grip on the piercing, I'm able to unscrew it to the left easily enough to take the piercing out. I would say just be careful while twisting because sometimes people accidentally drop the balls of their piercings. But other than that, you should be a piece of cake. So now it's time for my eyebrow piercing. So I've never actually taken this piercing out before. Um, this will be my first time taking it out. Sorry guys, I just cracked my knuckle. But to get back to the point, I have to figure out which ball on my eyebrow piercing will be the one that will unscrew. So, sorry if it takes me a little bit too long to get to the unscrewing of this one. So, right here, you can tell by my facial expression that I finally found the one that comes loose. It was my top one. There it is. And there's the ball. And I just pulled it out nicely, nice and slow. Never rush to pull your piercings out because you don't know what could happen. So I just wanted to make sure that I made this clear that my nose ring doesn't have a ball or anything that you could twist. Therefore, it's, there's no need for the latex gloves to take this out. I can just pull it apart regularly. So now it's time for my belly button piercing. I'm only going to be taking out the top one, the one that I just pointed at. So this one, I've taken it out and placed it back in so many times that it's actually relatively easy for me to take it out. I don't know if relatively was the right word for it, but I used it anyway. Um, I actually don't need a latex glove in order to take that one out because I've taken it out so many times. But that can be a curse and a... Uh, what do you call that thing? A blessing all in once because that means that the ball falls, falls out more than, you know, one that is tight enough for you to need latex gloves. So now there is no more need for the latex gloves. I've taken all of my piercings out so we can just put them away for another day or throw them away. Um, latex gloves come in packs but now I'm going to show you guys my piercings. Alright, so these are the three piercings that I just took out. That one is my lip ring. Um, it is 10 millimeters. I'm going to get a smaller one, maybe a 6 millimeter or 8 millimeter. That one is the eyebrow piercing. It's perfect in size. I have no clue what the standard size of it is though. And that one is my belly button ring. Um, that one is a 14 gauge, but I will be getting a 16 gauge. So there you have it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. If you'd like, you can also comment your opinion and ideas below. And subscribe if you support. And you all will see me in my next video. Bye.